how to boat elevator. Okay, first things first, you need to get some core items, okay? Oh, you have a previous tutorial. Click on screen now for how to do a boat elevator, aka water lift for boats or whatever. And first things first, you're just going to do a bit of a base so that you can extend the water out here to give it a better effect, okay? This is what we're going to do to build a UFO. So, just get a base there, give you an idea whereabouts you want the UFO. Now, when doing the circle for the UFO, don't do it exactly in the middle, okay? I want you to do it off to the side a bit because it's going to be a gun sticking out of it and it's going to, like... Not a gun, like a horizontal laser beam type looking thing. And it doesn't look right if uh, it's if it's made directly in the middle because the UFO doesn't look balanced. So I want you to kind of do the the circle up to the front, like to the back a bit, if you know what I mean. And then fill it all in, fill in your base, except leave one line on the, around the outside just for added detail. And uh, some people can add glass in there and stuff. I just add in a few uh, stone slabs. So basically, once you have a nice circle here, by the way, I'll put a link in the description for you guys on how to do circles of different sizes. It's a program on the internet, it's called Plots, and I'll send that to you, it's in the description, and that'll help you learn how to do circles in Minecraft. Now, first things first, for a bit of a uh, added uh, design, I just want you guys to do this with sticky pistons, okay? Very simple, just put three on each side, and uh, line up your redstone and tracks. Basically, what this is going to do is just going to retract forward and back for to give the UFO a kind of spinning light effect, okay? And uh, just lay down your tracks, have them as powered as much as possible, and that's very simple. So I'll show you here now. Basically, at the corners, you make sure it's... Uh, for doing corners and rails, you have to make sure it's um, normal rails, not powered rails, otherwise you won't be able to turn the cart around the corner. So, as you can see, just put the cart on here, and it's flying around. Very simple. So that lighting effect will come out good when we have the entire UFO finished, and you'll see it at the end of the video. So, what I want you to do now, guys, is just we're going to start on the on the vertical beam, okay? This is like the most powerful beam of the UFO. And if you're wondering what uh, the water slot, the water lift is for, it's actually to represent, like, uh, people getting beamed up in a boat into the UFO. So, that's a nice little surprise I had for you guys in this UFO. And you'll see it at the end of the video, actually, in progress. So, basically, for the beam, you can see it's just simple design. You just want to add some extra half slabs to it for detail and stuff. Um... <coughs> And then you want to add on your uh, vertical laser beam on the side. You want to start building out your horizontal one, you know what I mean? And it just looks amazing. Like, they're just little uh, shoot shots or, like, laser shots coming out of the side of it. So it looks so unreal. So I really appreciate you guys enjoying this series. Now, first things first, just get it that added detail. Make it look good. Now, <clears throat> this UFO would look a lot better if it was higher up in the air. But uh, I just done it this height so that I could get the boat up there as fast as possible. Just to show you guys... Uh, basically to use the exact same lift i used in the other tutorial the boat tutorial so um as you can see it's like a beam effect pretty cool pretty swanky so what you want to do now is just start adding your details start building up the sides of the ufo and how you do that is you just want to put some glowstone on top and out one from uh, <coughs> the clay that you have in front of the pistons okay because <coughs> when the clay retracts it's going to show the glowstone for a millisecond or so and you can see here so very simple and uh, then I'm just going to go around the edges with uh, half slabs and remove a block from underneath the clay that's underneath the pistons. If you can see me taking out those blocks there, so that that's the gap that the light's going to shine through. So you can see it there working. It looks pretty sweet. So I hope you guys are really enjoying this tutorial. Now all you have to do is just start building the edges up, okay? So you want to actually stay right on top of those half slabs now with another layer of clay. Um, make sure it's a single layer and then just on top of that do half slabs again and I'll show you how you start working in the center into the into the very middle and then bring it out by two uh, another one on top of that and uh, just to give it that kind of this is the center point and the reason I'm bringing this out now is because it gives a half slab a cool effect when it's on top of diamonds and glowstone so there's the diamonds and glowstones I want that going around the whole uh, edges of the map of the <coughs> UFO so basically just every two blocks is diamonds and uh, in between the glowstone stuff, it's really cool effect. I think it makes it look all alieny because it's not really a block people use a lot. That kind of combination kind of looks good. So there you go. You can see that kind of how the half slabs complement that. And then what you want to do is just start bringing in the roof a bit. And this is simple. The actual UFO itself is very simple to build. You just need to make sure you get that uh, cool effects in. And it's fun to have on a map because it's really good for adventure maps and uh, PvP maps. Anything because the whole beaming people up thing I think is a really cool concept that I've come up with. And it's used in one of my maps uh, that's in 
Game and Lemon's top five. Come, it's not out yet, but his next top five. So I hope you guys look forward to that. You unreal. And then just put in some extra design on the roof then to uh, <coughs> complement the roof. And I always leave a hole there. And what I do is I just put a ladder up to the roof. So for interior, there's not much you can do. Like you can't really give aliens chairs and stuff because they don't really, you know, <laughs> we don't know what they use. So just kind of mess around with the interior, fill it in with what you think feels right. Uh, in this, I kind of just put windows around the edges and just had like kind of uh, a platform for them to walk up to the windows. And uh, the center of the UFO is obviously where the beam is. So basically, that's the UFO. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Choo choo. <laughs>